Dan Dan noodles. It's uh, one of my favorite Szechuan noodle dishes. Uh, I'm Kenji Lopez Alt for the Food Lab, by the way. One of my favorite Szechuan noodle dishes. Uh, it's made with ground pork, some Szechuan peppercorns, some chili oil, some uh, preserved mustard root. Very, very flavorful, very spicy. Um, a wonderful dish. The only thing about it is that it does require a few sort of exotic specialized ingredients that you have to get from China. Uh, so if you live near an Asian market, you can probably find them there. Uh, and if not, you can definitely order them online. And the good thing is that all of these ingredients, they're gonna last a long time in the pantry or in the fridge almost indefinitely. So you can order a batch and don't worry about it going bad. You'll be able to make this dish uh, and a number of other Sichuan dishes uh, for months or even years to come. Here's how we do it. Now I start by preheating a wok rubbed with just a little bit of oil over high heat until it just starts to show wisps of smoke. This is going to tell me that the wok is hot enough to cook in, uh, but it also helps me prevent myself from burning the rest of the oil, which I'm adding now. Uh, just a couple tablespoons more, which I swirl around, uh, and as soon as that coats the bottom of the wok, I add six ounces of ground pork. Uh, not too lean. You can buy this uh, pre-ground, or you can hand chop it if you prefer to have a little bit of more texture. Uh, so I'm just going to break this up in that oil a bit, and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn, which I've ground lightly in a mortar and pestle. Uh, cooking the peppercorns in the fat with the pork like this, this helps work their mouth tingling flavors sort of throughout the dish. Uh, it coats everything really nicely. Now you want to keep cooking the pork, toss, tossing and breaking it up with a spatula uh, or a wooden spoon just until it starts to brown around the edges. Uh, and then you're going to add a couple of cloves of minced garlic and about two teaspoons of minced ginger. If you can chop the garlic and ginger by hand, uh, that's fine, or you can use a microplane uh, or even a garlic press. It doesn't really matter that much. Now when that starts to smell awesome, I'm going to add a couple ounces of preserved mustard root or stem. Uh, this is a Szechuan specialty ingredient. It comes in a variety of forms. Um, I'm using the kind that comes in little jars packed with a bit of chili oil, uh, but you can also find it in Asian grocers whole canned um, or dried in foil pouches. Um, just ask at your local market and you'll find it, um, or you can order it online, of course. Now set the pork mixture aside and we're gonna make our sauce. Uh, we're starting with a tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of chinkang or black vinegar, uh, and a tablespoon or two of store-bought or homemade roasted chili oil. And we're putting that all in the bottom of a warm serving bowl. Now meanwhile, cook a pound of fresh Chinese wheat noodles in a pot of boiling water. If you can't find fresh Chinese wheat noodles, you can use dried angel hair or spaghetti. Uh, cook them in water with about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda added per quart. Baking soda will give the pasta a bounciness and flavor that's sort of similar to Chinese style noodles. Um, this is also a good trick for ramen. When the noodles are cooked, use a ladle to transfer about three quarters of a cup of the cooking liquid to the serving bowl. This uh, pasta cooking water uh, dilutes the sauce to the right consistency and also helps it to bind to the surface of the noodles better as you eat. Now drain the noodles by transferring them to a fine mesh strainer uh, and add them directly to the bowl. Um, you'll notice that the sauce in this dish actually goes on the bottom. Uh, that's just how it's traditionally done. You don't really have to do it this way, but that's the way it's normally done. All right, now we just gotta put everything else together. Uh, we're gonna take our pork mixture and we're going to pour it right on top. Uh, you can use as much or as little as you like. This recipe probably actually makes a tiny bit more than you're gonna want for uh, a serving size, but that's fine. The pork mixture stays in the fridge fine. Uh, and then you can also top it with a big shower of finely sliced scallions. Um, no, there's no really hard and fast rules to Dan Dan noodles. So if you like, you can add other toppings. Um, I'm adding some more Szechuan peppercorn here. Uh, you can add sesame seeds. You can add pounded peanuts, uh, grated raw garlic, or a drizzle of sesame paste like tahini. Um, whatever you like. So long as it tastes good to you, then that's the important part. Uh, now, just before serving, toss it all together and get ready to slurp away. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you'll find the complete recipe in the uh, description below. And go to KenjiLopezAlt.com to sign up for my newsletter for news on my books, videos, recipes, and all that other fun stuff. Thanks!